On the left is Galveston, Texas. On the right is Lake Charles, Louisiana. Both are poised to take a huge hit tonight because Hurricane Laura is bearing down. Laura could produce a storm surge unlike anything they have seen in 60 years. One local official said for people still on the coast, the surge could be unsurvivable. It is Wednesday night and the big story on Action News tonight is the latest on Laura. Currently a category four hurricane. She is on the brink of becoming a cat five. The storm has almost doubled in power over the past 24 hours. Complicating the situation, Louisiana has had to suspend coronavirus testing just as kids and college students are returning to school, said the governor tonight. We are going to be blind this week. We get more from Lake Charles and Ted Oberg from our sister station KTRK. The rain is just starting. The wind has definitely picked up. This is just the start of what will be a very long night for everyone here in Lake Charles, Louisiana, a city right close to the Texas Louisiana border that is expected to get the worst of this storm. Right now we're at a casino about 30 miles inland and experts suggest that even here 30 miles from the coast there could be as much as nine feet of storm surge. The winds even here well in excess of 100 miles an hour. They expect the power to go out citywide. They expect the water system to go out. The mayor earlier today said he expects catastrophic damage from this storm. The governor of Louisiana has activated the state's entire National Guard. He says everything south of here could be flooded for a period of some time that no one knows right now. Before the sun comes up, this city is likely to change the way it looks when it went to bed this evening. In Lake Charles, Louisiana, Ted Oberg for Channel 6 Action News. And we have much more on the impending landfall of Hurricane Laura just in a few hours. Let's go to meteorologist Cecily Tynan with the latest on Laura. And Jim, Hurricane Laura should be making landfall in about two and a half hours near Cameroon, Louisiana. That's on the the border between Louisiana and Texas, and you can see just how close that eye is. It's about 50 miles offshore right now. It's beginning to make that move to the north, and this likely will be the strongest hurricane to hit Louisiana in our lifetime since the storm of 1864, so it's been a long time. Radar showing that they're already getting the very heavy bands of rain wrapping around that, and the northeast quadrant of the storm is the strongest. So with these band of rains, you also get the intense wind gusts. You also get the tornado warnings and underneath the storm, very destructive winds. We've got winds right along the coast, uh, wave heights, I should say, of 13 feet and along the center, 24 foot waves, even higher, closer to the eye, 26 foot waves. And this likely will push that water ashore. And they're talking about the potential for a 20 foot storm surge as far as 40 miles in. The storm surge is the most deadly part of the storm, but you also have the winds. This is future tracker showing around 2 o'clock in the morning when the storm is making landfall. Those winds gusting 126 miles per hour in Lake Charles and for several hours, actually by 5 o'clock in the morning, still around that. Those destructive winds moving inland also along the path could have rain a foot to a foot and a half, and then it's going to be heading towards the mid Atlantic. I'll talk more about that in the full AccuWeather 70 forecast. Jim. All right, Cecily, let's switch live to Action News reporter Dan Quayar at Philadelphia International Airport. Dan, you have spoken to air travelers who have arrived here from the danger zone. What have you heard from them? Jim, we got out just in time, said one. Thank God, he added. He was among some of the last passengers to get out of Houston and New Orleans before the airports shut down. As Hurricane Laura inched closer towards the Texas and Louisiana borders, residents were bracing for the worst as others rushed to get out of harm's way. This couple took one of the last flights out of New Orleans. When we were leaving, you could see that the weather was building up. You could yeah. see it was starting to get really windy. It was starting to get really dark. Yeah. And when we left, the turbulence was pretty bad. They say residents were rushing to finish last-minute preparations as the Louisiana governor was warning this could be the strongest storm to hit the southwestern part of Louisiana in more than six decades. They're putting sandbags everywhere. They're closed. They're putting the shutters down. They're they're preparing. A lot of the places are closed. Dorte Spaniel recalled how Hurricane Katrina caused catastrophic damage more than 60 miles inland back in 2005, and understands why people are not taking any chances. Some people were leaving. 
then you hear about a lot of the stores were closed and everything. They just and they stopped the buses from running and everything. We also caught up with some custodians who recall all too well the catastrophic damage Hurricane Harvey caused a few years ago, and we're keeping a close eye on Laura. It took a turn kind of last minute. We're thinking it's going to hit right along the border, so we're hoping uh, downtown Houston can kind of get through this unscathed. Finally, Kathleen and Jerry Maine had gone to visit family in New Orleans and had booked their flight months ago, not knowing it would be one of the last before Hurricane Laura made landfall. Just lucky. Got, you know, luck, luck is good, too. We wish the best for everybody in the path of the storm. It's, oh. it's not pretty. With the storm continuing to grow in size and intensity, Louisiana's governor is already predicting they're going to be doing a lot of search and rescue operations tomorrow. Live here at Philadelphia International, I'm Dan Cuellar, Channel 6 Action News. Jim? Thank you, Dan. Four